Good morning, Bishop Gorman. It's Monday, February 28th. And progress reports were released last week. I hope you all got a stern talking to over the weekend. Let us start our day with the prayer and the pledge. Please stand for the prayer and the pledge. Please remember that we are in God's holy presence. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Mother Mary, come to us. Give us strength and hope. Give us guidance. You taught us the way. Let us be like you. Show us the way to your son Jesus. Amen. Glory be to God for all things. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. And now for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to, to the, the flag of the United States, States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Are you ready to have a great day, Bishop Gorman? Because BGTV and my seductive facial hair is coming at you in five, four, three, two, one. Good morning, Bishop, Bishop Gorman. Gorman. I'm Megan Flaviano. I'm Sarah Zentner. And, and this, this is BGTV. BGTV. It's Monday, February 28th, the day that makes March 1st sneak up on you like a ninja. And also the 70th anniversary of the first televised basketball game between the University of Pittsburgh and Fordham. Speaking of universities, seniors, please remember to stop by Campus Ministry as soon as possible if you haven't completed your service hours. If you don't complete your hours, you will not receive your diploma. So stop by to look for opportunities to get you caught up. For a senior who has not only completed his service hours, but has embraced other service projects, we'd like to give a huge shout out to Sean Benevento. Sean managed to donate 401 children's books and two $50 gift cards to local sexually abused children. Way to go, Sean, and a big thank you to anyone who donated to this worthy cause. If you want to be involved in another worthy cause, stop by room 300 after school today to attend a Best Buddies meeting. Attention sophomores, get ready to take a test you haven't studied for. On Thursday, March 3rd, you will be getting your hearing and vision checked, so be sure to bring your glasses or contacts with you. Additionally, these hearing and vision tests will take place in the library. So on Thursday, March 3rd, the library will be closed until 1.45. The library will not be open during study hall or lunch either, so please plan accordingly. If you've always dreamed of being the next great author, or just like critiquing great work, consider joining the Creative Writing Club. The next meeting will be held next Friday at 6.30. All you need to do is show up to listen to others read, or take three to five pages of your own work to share. New members are welcome. It's everyone's favorite day of the year, Pi Day. This day-long celebration of the mysterious, exciting, and beloved non-repeating -ra rational number is back on Friday, March 11th. To participate, simply pay $10 to your math teacher. That $10 gets you a new Pi Day t-shirt, permission to wear jeans, and the ability to eat copious amounts of pizza pie and play pie-themed games. While Gorman's students will certainly be playing some pie-themed games, their teams were busy playing some games of their own. For more info, here's Raina Hohenner with the sports. Raina? Thanks, Megan. The past week in sports has been a tough one for Gorman, and can certainly not as our teams had planned it. Women's basketball lost a heartbreaker on the road to the state championship, losing to Liberty on Thursday night, 58 to 53. Boys basketball lost their state title bid by one point against Bishop Minogue, as top scorer Shabazz Muhammad sat benched with an injury. Women's soccer played our review on Thursday, keeping our review from scoring until the last five minutes of the match. The ladies ended up losing one to nothing. Looking ahead, if you ate your Wheaties this morning, several teams may be looking for you. Men's volleyball is holding trials today from 2.30 to 5.30. Or if you'd prefer your sports without sweat, swimming and diving tryouts are today from 4.30 to 6 at the Meadows YMCA. That's it for sports. I'm Raina Hohenner, and back to you ladies. Thanks, Raina. We'd like to take this moment to congratulate another Gorman team that competed this weekend, the mock trial team. Eden Bernstein, Philip Froelich, Michael McIntosh, Gianna Santoro, 
Jacqueline Morea, Brendan Flynn, and Kristen Douse headed to Reno this weekend for state competition. The team took first place in the state of Nevada for the fourth year in a row, with additional awards going to Eden Bernstein for Best Witness and Brendan Flynn for Best Advocate. Congratulations, guys. That about wraps things up here. As always, might box is tomorrow, and please give generously. We'll see you next week. Until then, I'm Sarah Zentner. And it's not easy being green. And, and this, this is, is BGTV. BGTV.